Welcome my friends to the uh, Eat to be Alive challenge and this is what the challenge looks like and uh, feels like. So you have five days to eat alive and what does that mean? That means that you're eating portion controlled so your meals are the hands of your two, the size of your two hands together because your stomach is just as big. So then you're going to have three meals like this and two snacks in between like this the size of your one hand. You have your plate together, put together like one third is your protein, one third is your fruits and vegetables and only one third will be your rice, your potato and your bread portion of your plate. You are avoiding fried food for five days and you are focusing on and your all fruits and vegetables are in between meals. Now it's wonderful even two three pieces of fruit you can have in between as a snack and you make sure that you are eating every three to four hours. Another challenge is that you are giving up all sweet drinks and sweetened drinks and soft drinks and you are going to have two and a half liters of water a day. And this is going to be distributed in a way that you are drinking half a liter of water half an hour before your main meals and snacks and this is going to be give you the exact result what you need. If um, you are really struggling that you've been eating a lot of foods, then you may have um, psyllium husk, as it's called as for in this part of the world, psyllium husk, one tablespoon in 100 ml of water, which you can drink five minutes before your meal. This is a fiber which will extend in your stomach and keep you full so you're eating less. So basically, it will take your body about three days to get used to this eating. So the full key is if you can do that, if you put your plate together and you prepare for your entire day, you know what you're gonna be eating. Then once your plate is in front of you, that you believe yourself that the whatever food is in front of you, it's enough. So you can just tell yourself that yes, I know this food is enough for me. I know I am going through a temporary period of time to retrain my body to eat differently. And I want to experience how I feel. So basically, if you give yourself this little bit of a, a challenge and, um, and then you can see that meal by meal you're going to be feeling differently. Um, the high water content fruits and vegetables are a key point during these five days and then you start eating less which means your two hands. And it is going to be enough for you. Eat slowly, sit down when you eat and you will see the difference. Plan every three, four hours you need to eat either a meal or a snack no matter when is your waking hours are and then you're going to be also sleeping. Now, um, day six. Day six is the top of the challenge because this is the time when you can actually start eating whatever you want and I challenge you and on day six eat every fried food and oily food whatever you want and those are your favorites and then you are going to be able to make up and, um, and distinguish and choose which way you want to go. You want to go back eating the old way or you are going to be continuing to eating alive. So I, I invite you for this challenge and see how you can feel within five days and how your body can be resensitized to eating uh, healthy foods and from there you will be able to take the uh, decision. Now I welcome you and I invite you to share your experiences on Facebook and put up your meals and whatever you are eating. You will find a lot of people who will be joining in and helping you and inspire you to keep going. Now if you are going to be able to exercise with that, it's fantastic. But basically the, eat, the um, Eating Alive Challenge, it contains that. So please let me know if there is anything I can help you with. But this is the video, which this is all the instruction what you need to eat alive. So happy eating alive and I hope you guys join in and you let me know how you're doing. Thank you. See you. This was Dr. Jill.